Hey guys, welcome back to Smart Trader. This is Dias Paul, and thank you so much for all your likes, comment, share, and subscribe to my channel. And if you're a new viewer, then go to my channel and watch all the videos and playlists. And if you're liking it, then go hit the subscribe button to be a part of this large family. For the ones who wants additional services or personal training, you can WhatsApp our team seven eight nine two six five two four eight one. Or else you can visit our web website smarttrader.co. And for the ones who wants to open an account through us, you can click in the video description and open an account in Zeroda or Upstock for lifetime learning and bonding with me. So without wasting time, let's start off with today's topic. So today's topic is going to be Bollinger Bands. So um, it's been a long time me doing a video. So uh, I was actually going through a root canal for two teeth. So it's a painful process. I mean, almost two sitting is done and uh, i have to go to the doctor again today for the third sitting and uh, we have fourth sitting it seems um so uh that's the reason i couldn't do much of learning videos also for you guys be because i couldn't talk because of the swelling and uh anyways now i'm fine better so before i go to the doctor i thought i'll make one more video and later if i get injected or something then i can't talk again so anyways uh, let's uh continue with our learning videos uh so Bollinger Bands, so this is going to be a beginner's guide to a lot of beginners who don't understand what are these. So first of all, a Bollinger Band, uh, for the ones, uh, a lot of beginners, uh, if you know, we have technical analysis and we have fundamental analysis, which we can do for a stock. So, so that you can predict, but these are not 100% right. These are just for prediction. So we use a lot of tools so that our, most of our guesses and predictions are correct with a lot of possibilities. So for doing this technical analysis, we use certain tools uh, that has nothing but technical indicators and uh, one among that technical indicators is Bollinger Bands. So we have so many technical indicators which have been used in technical analysis, but Bollinger Band is one among them. So how does this Bollinger Band look and how do we use them and how do normally traders interpret them is what we are going to discuss now. So I have taken an example of a stock that is uh, Reliance stock or any stock randomly I have taken this stock. So I am using a Zeroza platform uh, you can use any of your broker platform or if you don't have an account then you can go to investing.com and then use the chart. So in studies uh, whichever broker you are using go to the studies or uh, indicators and find Bollinger Bands. So this is where it is Bollinger Bands. This is the default settings which most of the 90% of the crowd uses. So we will be using the same for this example and the moving average type is simple. Uh, normally people use a simple and exponential SMA and EMA. So uh, the standard deviation will be 2 and the period is 20. When I say the period is 20 it doesn't mean it is 20 days or something. It is for example if you are using 15 minutes candle then one candle is 15 minutes like that 20 candles. If you are for example you are using one day that means 20 days if you are using one minute that means 20 candles that is 20 minutes so period which you are using is 20 so when you change the time frame this calculation will change overall okay so just giving done so this is how the Bollinger band looks like and uh, you have uh, upper band over here and the lower band over here Okay, and you have a middle line which is your uh, simple moving average for that 20 period. So like how I told you if you change here, it will change based on the uh, number of days, 20 days. Now if I put 15 minutes, it will change based on that. Okay, so this is how the calculation happens and based on the uh, standard deviation which you have given over here, these lines will be calculated in a certain formula. So that is how this has been generated. Now how normally traders use this particular uh, chart is also very important by knowing the logic or reality of it. So normally what happens traders consider the upper line and the lower line. Whenever they consider the low, the candle touches the lower line it is said that it is going to reverse from that particular point. So somewhere it touched here from now on the price is going to reverse. And once it touches the upper line the price is going to reverse from then on. Again it's going to go up and again it's going to go down. So if you see here, uh, it's not that the whole band is going up direction or the whole band is going down direction. The band is going up, down, up, down, up. So you cannot, it, it cannot be 100% correct. So a lot of people may think just by using an indicator, I can be 100% accurate. No. So indicators are just to give you confidence, just to give you a guess or prediction. So along with your other logical prediction and other uh, technical tools which you use, indicators which you use, this can be added so that your answer or, or your guessing work is more accurate than the others. So that is why you use a technical indicator and Bollinger Band is one among them 
and uh, this is how they interpret that yes now the now a lot of sellers are done now buyers will come into the picture now i can take an advantage from for example if i take a position somewhere here i can take an advantage till the stock moves at least still here so this is how a trader will predict that yes uh, i need to exit for example people enter here they don't know when to exit so once it comes and touches the above line they have an alert that it may turn back down so from then on the person who is into this trade will try to exit this particular trade so this is how this particular chart will help you or this particular indicator will help you and also few traders also look into the volatility of this particular stock when when they, it is said that when the bands upper band and the lower band is small the volatility is less and when it suddenly you know goes away it's too far away for example if you see it's here and here here it is small so if it is too far away then the volatility is high currently you know the stock volatility is high uh, here if you see it's going to move in a small range over here if you see it's going to move in a big range so this is how you can interpret and few trader also uh, you know see this particular indicator when whenever the candles come and touch the upper line or the lower line it tends to continue so there are such traders who follow this type of methods to take an advantage from here to here and same way i don't know if i have an example if you see again whenever it touch the line it continues the rally so few traders try to take advantage of those even on the sell side if you see it touches and it continues till down so few traders go with that few traders go with the logic of reversal so that they take a position here and try to sell a position here so different people have different styles and uh, the tool is same for all but there are so many ways of using it so it's up to you how you use it i have told you few methods which i am aware of so that as a beginner you start off with the analysis and also if you see the settings over here these are the simple settings which are there which most of the crowd uses so a lot of people use it so that along with everyone i will also use the same trend and to you know take advantage of the crowd movements but if you want to go against the crowd and you want to find some method of yours you can change these and try to observe uh, and do some paper tradings and find out your own strategies and also by changing the moving average type also so i hope uh, this was an add on to your knowledge for beginners who didn't know about this uh, so you want to check it out you can do some paper trading by using this indicator so if you ask me personally this is not among my top 3 indicators which i use but still you can use this as one of the indicator along with other indicators just to give a confidence in your prediction so always understand indicators or analysis are not 100% right those are just predictions and guessing work uh there are two type of guessing work or prediction you can do just by saying yes or no it will go up or down or profit or loss or another way of guessing or prediction is that by doing few calculations or analysis fundamental or technical or tools which you use based on those logical ways uh what gives you more information for example many uh, analysis say that lot of indicators saying currently the stock is going to go up so your your prediction or guessing work is more accurate so that is how you use this so try to understand the reality for all the beginners no indicator or no strategy will give you 100% accuracy all you need to do is try to use all of them and these will give you a confidence or your accuracy will increase by using this so by saying that thank you so much please do uh, share this uh, video to all your friends who are beginners so that they also understand about this concept and also don't forget to sub uh, hit that subscribe button and like button i hope uh, my voice was clear i, I could uh, complete the video so anyways thank you so much see you soon in my next video till then take care bye bye